Hey YouTube, this is how to QA flag your PS3. Now what you're going to do is I'll give you a official 3.55 if you're not already on it. But install official 3.55, which I am doing right now. Which, just go to system update, update via storage media. You'll see me do it later. But then, now what we're going to do is we have to install... Um, the other OS special dot pup. Okay. So plug in a USB drive. Make a folder called PS3. Inside that called update. Now I'll give you a download link for this. But what you're gonna do is just drag it over there. wait for that to copy um I'll link you to this website actually and it says well okay well the copy's done anyway I was just reading that to myself now, pretty sure we have to rename this to PS3 up PS3 update or wait. Let's just check. I have time, so. Just update, update, not update. So, bam. It's three update, dat. Yep. So, put that on the USB. Close that. Close that. I'll link you with this so you can read it for yourself. Works on these so far. Now, they're going to bring Kimu, Winko, etc. support soon. So, I'll update you whenever that comes out. Now, oh, let's grab the USB drive. And I was putting mine back to official. Because whenever you flash a new firmware, you should always bring it back to official. Just to make it a little safer, I guess you could say. Okay. Plug in that USB. Now let's make sure it is on official. I'll, pro I'll give you a download link for the official just in case you need it. Looks on official. Oh, let's do system update via storage media. And there it is, other OS plus plus. Um, whoops. I accept that. Oh wow. This um just gives you telling you to pretty much use at your own risk. This um tells you what it all does. Also Anyway, before we actually QA flag, I want to point out that uh, I've been kind of reading up on it, and one thing I read that somebody reported, not sure if this is true or not, but anything you bought off PSN, once you QA flag, it'll you the license will be deleted, so you pretty much won't be able to use it anymore. So, if you have a whole lot of bought things on your PS3, I recommend not doing this. Because really all it does is give you debug settings and, and 
install package files in a different way, but um, that's pretty much what it'll do. So I, for one, I never bought anything on my PS3 because I only had it for like two days and I jailbroke it. So <laughs> I never bought anything. Well, continue the video when that's done. All right, my console just finished. And it's rebooting. So, let's turn on my controller. And I'm going to check to make sure, see if there's anything different. I've never used this firmware, so. Uh, we'll install package files. It's a little switched, but no big deal. Alright, now what you're going to do, give you a package. I gotta plug in my USB drive. Anyway. Okay. I'll give you a package that is called QA flag dot package. Install it <laughs> under install package files. Now run QA flag and it beeped, which that's what it was supposed to do. Now you gotta reboot. <sighs> Excuse me. Reboot it. I'm going to set this down, aim it at the TV, because i got to do the button combination now. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to go over to the network, or the settings tab, go down to network settings. What you're going to press, you're going to press both the triggers, or all four of the triggers on the back there. All four of those, like that then L3 and the down trigger and once you press those you'll get these settings Eddie viewer is something with Japan don't worry about it you get your debug settings you can change your NP environment uh, change all of this